My name is Denise. I am 21 years old and I am a storyteller with Youth Testify. When I was 13 years old, I kept missing first period because I was very sick and I couldn't figure out why and I was very upset because I liked my first period class and I later found out from going to the clinic at my school that I was pregnant. So the only people I told at the time were my, at that time, boyfriend and his mother. Well, she kind of heard us talking and found that I was pregnant. Um, we talked about it for like five minutes. It was more of like a, you're pregnant, what do you want to do? And I said I wanted an abortion. At the time, I didn't know much about abortion. I didn't know where to get it. I just didn't really know like how accessible it would be because I live in the Bible Belt. And all I had ever heard about people who had abortion was very bad things. So I was picked up by my boyfriend about two weeks after I found out that I was pregnant. And by that time I was 12 weeks. He brought me to the clinic. Um, he stayed in the lobby. I went in the back and um, had the procedure done. Um, I just, sorry, I'm gonna cry again. It was interesting because the nurses, when I had went there previously for um, testing and like checkups, they were a lot nicer. And when I went there for my procedure, they weren't nice and they kind of weren't talking to me and they kind of just let me go through that alone. So, after the procedure, um, I went back to the lobby and my boyfriend met me there, of course, and he took me home and he left. And I had to go during school hours, so there was nobody at the house because everybody was working or at school. So I just stayed there in my room and I kind of just let myself get all my emotions out because I didn't want anybody to walk in on me crying or taking pain pills or anything because I was kind of discombobulated. I had just had a procedure done on my body. So I wasn't 100%. And I just remember how much I really wanted to tell my mom and my sister Because they are like my people in my life at the time that I thought I could tell anything to. And they were my support system. Sorry. Okay. No, I'm just this makeup. It's like $14 a bottle. <laughs> Ooh, okay. As I'm remembering more, I remember just how much for the first month I really wanted to tell my mother every day. But I was just so scared. Because I knew that I was going to be met with so much judgment and so much hate. So I kept it to myself and I kept a lot more things to myself as far as serious decisions in my life since then. And it's made me feel very isolated. It's it's made me feel very isolated. And I don't want I don't want any 
teenage girl. I just felt isolated. Because it's different when you're a teenager. And especially when you're just now turning into a teenager and that's the time when you're trying to define what you are and who you are. And you're going through high school and people are mean. <laughs> Teachers are mean. Everybody's telling you what to do and what not to do. And you live in this black black and white world that doesn't make any sense because things aren't black and white. And I wish that I had a space that I felt safe enough to come into at the age and talk and just be myself and share what was going on with me. And that's why I work with Youth Testify so that females like me, people with uteruses, period, can just feel safe enough to share their story and feel safe enough to know their options and choose what option is best for them and have the support to support that option because it's so important to not make any young person feel alone because you wonder why they don't listen. It's because you don't listen. And I can't do what you say because I do what you do.